hi in this video we will see how to allow it, allow negative value for a field on the screen and also we will see how to control the upper and lower case for a character field on the screen so we can see on the screen like here if you enter anything say Even if you enter, it becomes automatically in the capital letter. And also, the so this is the amount field. If I am entering any negative value here, let's say one, two, three. So the system automatically giving the message is specified positive values only. So in this video, we'll see how to allow a negative value on the screen and also how to control the upper and lower case. So there are two methods. The first preferred method is when you're, whenever you are creating a table. So control this at the domain level. Suppose for the address field, this is my address one, and I use the existing data element care forty. So we have to use a domain which allowed the which has a tick mark as lower case. So this will allow us to store value as in the same fashion as we enter. If you are entering the capital letter, this will enter into capital. If you are entering the lower letter, this will save in the lower letter so the prerequisite the domain should have this checkbox lower case same for the amount field if it is the amount field this sign should be checked like we have ctc the amount field dmbtl we have used here this is the domain so here the sign is not checked so we have to use some domain which allow the negative values so like in my previous case I use this domain so which allowed a negative sign so there are two method either we control the upper lowercase at the domain level the negative sign allowed at the domain level the system will allow to store our value in the same fashion now second action through a screen now suppose we have used a domain which doesn't allow a negative value okay and we have used the character we have used a domain for address which doesn't have a checkbox as lower case. So in this case, how to handle through a screen? For that, go to our screen. Open the screen layout. Go to layout. Double click on the input field. Now, in the dictionary, in the first tab, we can see. Let me. Close this. Double click again. Now in the first tab you can see at the bottom upper lower case check this checkbox close we'll do for second line also upper lower case for the third line also upper and lower case okay now for the amount field double click on amount field now here we can see as this is the amount field so we cannot see upper lower case here but there's an option with sign we select this checkbox save check activate now go back to our screen execute execute now let me enter here it's a flat number c504 enter now you can see system has not changed the properties it is as it is if i am entering in the upper case this will be in upper case if I'm entering in lower case this will be in the lower case let's say near city mall pune okay now let me put some in upper case pune shivaji nagar okay the first is a combination of upper and lower case second is purely 
or lower case and third one is upper case so like this way we can control the properties on the screen now second we are done the photo ctc now let me enter some negative value ctc will not be negative but just to show the concept i shown this now this is not giving any error message so in this way we can control that uh, we can allow the negative value on the screen and also we can control the upper and lower case but it's still the preferred method is at a domain level whenever you are creating a table use a proper domain uh, domain as per our business requirement or see there are multiple ways so we can also we can also handle in this way which i shown right now okay so like this way we can implement the negative sign allowed for a screen field and also controlling of the for a lowercase character. Thank you.